Episode one of five minute poster designs. Let's make this minimalist sports poster in Photoshop. So first up, we're gonna drag in our player image. This is Marquez Brownlee. I also have dragged in just the cutout version of the same image. So I have the cutout by itself, I have the full image. Now one thing you can do whenever you have an image like this, where you have like a pretty low horizon line, you can just cut out your subject and just use the grass as like the lower part of the image. And then you can kind of put whatever you want in to this background. We'll position our cutout kind of like small and towards the bottom. Because this photo, there's not like a ton of room below the subject's feet, I wanna bring in some more grass. So I'm gonna do that by making a new layer. Let's take our rectangular marquee tool, hit M, and I'm just gonna draw out this box in this white space. And then hitting W on the keyboard for a quick selection tool, you can then right click and go to generative fill, hit generate, and this first option looks great. So we'll stick with that. And now if we just take this full image, you can mask out just like a lower portion by clicking on the mask icon, going to your gradient tool. You want your foreground color set to black. You can go up to your gradient, go to black to transparent. Now holding shift, I'm going to click and drag downward again towards his feet and just keeping this like low horizon line. Now this right here is a really nice spot to be in. We can really do anything we want with the background. For this video, I'm gonna take this clouds background image and drag it in, just sizing it up so it fills the whole canvas. And let's make sure we drop this below that masked out version of the full image. And now I just wanna kind of blend everything together before we get into the text. So let's start with Marquez cut out is the player itself. Go to camera raw filter and start messing with some of these settings. Now because the clouds background image I grabbed was like somewhat low contrast, I kind of want to lean into a lower contrast look. Lowering the contrast, bringing down the highlights as well, probably boost the shadows, get more detail in the jersey. And then I always like to add a little bit of texture and clarity. Hit okay. And this grass is looking really yellow. I think I want it to be a bit more green. So let's drop in a selective color adjustment layer below our cutout. Go to the greens. Actually, we'll go to the yellows. We can drop the yellows down a bit. You can play with the magentas to the left. The cyans, maybe we darken this whole thing. Maybe we need a little bit more yellow. Now, if we want this to feel more like a photo that was taken, a good idea is to blur the background just a little bit. You do a Gaussian blur, you could also go to a box blur, just like a pretty low radius, like five pixels feels about right. By the way, this canvas is just standard 1080 by 1350. Also feel free to play with the blues in the sky. I think anytime you can get the blues looking a little bit lighter, almost like more towards a teal, it can kind of give a fun, interesting effect. So like more of like this blue. Skin tone is also a good reminder to pay attention to. So we can drop another selective color on top of our cutout, clip it, holding option, hovering in that space and clicking so we only have the selective color affecting Marquez and just boosting the reds by lowering the cyan value, maybe lowering the yellows a little bit too. Now from here we can block out our text. Let's make a new layer, hit T for your type tool. I'm gonna eyedropper more of like a dark gray just because I don't want pure black. Let's type out Brownlee and the font we're gonna use is yeah, Outward Block. It's this nice, really tight, bold, narrow font. I'm just gonna type out his last name, Brownlee, and then center it. Let's put some smaller descriptive text around the main last name. New layer, T for your type tool. First of all, let's go to Times, Regular. We'll go all caps, Marquez Brownlee. His full name, we'll drop this font size down to like, I don't know, 15 probably, and we can space it out. We can align this to the side of Brownlee by holding command and clicking on that T in the thumbnail, and then going to your move tool, left justifying there. Hit command J to duplicate this layer, then go to your type and right justify it. And then again, we can go to our move tool and then again, align this to the right side. This one we're gonna type out New York Empire, which is his team, Now we can duplicate both both these text layers, Command J, drag them down. I'm gonna keep the spacing even. Let's line it up at the bottom and hold Shift and just go down arrow twice. We can do the same thing with these top ones just to make sure the spacing is accurate. For bottom left, let's type out year nine. And for bottom right, number 82. I want to get a little bit more contrast with this text. So what we can do is just drop a soft white gradient down from the top of the canvas. Let's make a new layer right below our cutout. And if you make your foreground color white, go up to your gradient tool, click the white to transparent, and just drag this down. Maybe we want to position a little bit higher. We can also play with the clouds too, like if you didn't like that specific cloud layout. I'm just looking for like a good contrast spot and honestly the disc down here. Just a few finishing effects and then we're done. Let's 
Let's make a new folder on top of everything, call it finishing. Let's make a new layer, command option shift E to apply the image to its own layer. We'll go up to convert for smart filters, under filter, and then camera raw filter. So this is just kind of our final adjustments for the design. Bump up this exposure, maybe we lower the contrast even more. Highlights, shadows, all that good stuff. This is just where you can kind of make it your own, even play with the temperature. Eh, kind of like the warmer look. And just maybe a little bit more texture and clarity, some vignetting on the edges. And yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. Maybe some curves, you can always adjust like the, the black point. We'll hit okay and stop there. That is our finished Marquez Brownlee player poster. That's gonna do it for episode one of five minute poster designs. Let me know what you think. I'll see you in the next one.